Hi, this is Dennis Pegden, CEO of Simeo. Thanks for joining this tutorial on working with data tables. Data tables are a powerful concept in Simeo that allow you to take all the data that you would normally carry with an entity, put it off into a data table or, or multiple data tables, and then simply reference that information from the entity. So to illustrate the, the basic concept, let me take this very simple model where we have parts arrive, be processed one at a time, then depart. We'll have three different types of parts, which we'll call part type A, B, and C. We'll have a product mix that defines the percent of each part type that we're going to have arriving to the system. And we're going to randomly select based on these, these percentages. And then we have a different processing time for each part type. So let's build, quickly build this model in Simeo. So to do this, we'll get out the source server sync. and connect them with paths. And then I'm going to drag out the three different entities for part A, B, and C, and rename the default names to, these, to those names. So this is part A, part B, and Part C. And let me just uh, recolor these. So we'll make Part B a blue part. And we'll make Part C a red part. So there's our three parts. And if, of course, if we would run the model like it is, they would all be part A's. So all we would see is green guys. So let me stop and reset that. And now we're going to switch to the window called the data window. And we're going to create a data table. We'll call part data. And to this data table, we're going to add a property that is the entity. And let's call this entity type, or part type, rather. And then we're going to add a property that's a real that we'll call product mix. And finally, we'll add a standard property, which is an expression, which we'll call process time. Now we, that we have this table defined, we're going to fill it out for these three job types. Of course, we could import the data from Excel as well. So the first one is part type A, product mix is 50, and the processing time is 2. Second one, part type B, product mix is 30, processing time is 4. And the last one is part type C. Product mix is 20. And the processing time in this case is random, uh, uniform, between 4 and 6. So there's our data table all filled out. And now what we're going to do is we're going to open up our process window. And we're going to build ourselves a little process that's assigned the row in the table. So let's call this uh, set data row, the name of the process. And we'll go to our list of all steps and come down here to set table. I put a set table step there. And this step is going to set the table on the token. The table is named part data. And the row of the table that we want the token to point to is going to be part data. product mix random row. What this says is go, go to the part data table, the product mix column, use the values in there as weights to assign a row randomly. So now let's go back to our facility. And on the source, we're going to run an add-on process trigger just before creating an entity, we're going to set the table. So we're going to set a data row in the table, running that little process. 
Now, instead of having the entity type be part A, we're going to say the entity type is from that table. It's the part type column in the part data table. And then we're going to say the service time is also from that table. So let's say part data process time. So now let's run our model. And what we'll see is a combination of red, blue, and green based on those probabilities running through the system. So that's a quick example of how you can take data uh, from Excel or other places, load it into data tables, and then have the entities reference that table and use that as, as, part, as, as the descriptions of the, of the entity as they, run, as they move through the model. Thanks for watching this tutorial. And as always, if you have any questions, please give us a call. Thanks.